Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Simon Christensen. I'm the Chief Executive of Chipley Business School. And tonight um, we'll be giving you a, a run through of the MBA program or the postgraduate program that we offer. Uh, and tonight I'll give a, a short presentation, and that will then be followed by uh, Miss Jane Weber. And Jane um, is, was Chipley's best student last year for Victoria. So Jane will say a few words about the program. And that will also be followed by um, Steve Foden, and Steve is uh, one of our unit chairs for project management and he will give you a bit of an overview uh, run through of the program from a unit chairs perspective as well. So we're trying to cover off uh, the key areas of the program. Uh, just some history on, on Chifley Business School. I'm not too sure how much you know but Chifley is accredited higher education provider um, by the Victorian Government so we're a nationally accredited organisation to deliver postgraduate programs. Uh, Chifley is the largest MBA uh, uh, program for distance learning in Australia. Um, and it was also, I suppose, in the last 10 years, it's, it's been the largest in the, in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's a very large MBA program. Uh, the program is an initiative of APESMA. Um, a few people here might know about APESMA. Um, APESMA is the Association of Professional Engineers, Scientists and Managers. Uh, APESMA is the founder of, or the founder of this program. Um, they came up with the idea to have a, a flexible distance MBA program for technology professionals. Chifley offers two MBA programs, they offer the MBA in Technology Management, um, and then, which is Australia's only MBA program for technical professionals, and we also offer a, a general MBA program, and we'll talk a little bit about that um, through the program. Uh, Pesma, as I said, the, uh, the, founder of the, the founder of the program and also the owner of the business school, uh, was formed in 1946, 25,000 members. Um, the first postgraduate program, uh, well, graduates was in 1989, and the first MBA program was in 1993. Um, you can see we have 11,000 plus graduates, um, and every year we graduate about um, roughly 300 graduates a year. Um, so the program is still going strong. So why don't we say why choose the Chifley MBA program? Well, our program is, is portable, study anywhere, anytime. The number one benefit for this program is its portability. You can be based here in Melbourne now as an engineer or technical professional, and then you could be off to India, you could be working then from the Middle East, which would be the natural progression, you could be in the UK, you could be back to Australia. You just don't know where you're going to be in roughly a three or four year time frame. Then this program gives you that flexibility. Um, it's a very unique thing about it. It's also, we talk about study periods coming up at the moment, but it's a longer study period than what you have in a normal MBA program. Uh, well, not normal, but from face to face. Face to face MBA programs are 12 to 13 week study periods, as are 18 week study periods with a two week exam. exam. Uh, time so that gives you some a longer lead time and more time to focus on family and career. As we said, it's a diverse crowd that we have in our student community. Um, students from over 50 countries, 50 countries, 700 current students in the program. It's actually a little bit higher than that. Uh, and 96 percent of our students are full-time employment uh, with 10 to 15 years experience. What that means is the cohort that you study with are acting, um, acting or living professionals out in the workplace right now. So the flexibility comes from, from our belief that the, an MBA program in, in its inception, in its original time, was basically they used to call it the widow maker. And it was a program that you were so intensely locked into for two or three years, um, or if it was full time you do it in 18 months to two years, and it really affected your lifestyle. This program is designed that you can keep on progressing your career, doing units, um, studying as you go, and then progressing your career while you're picking up your MBA along the way. So it was designed for working professionals who could combine work, uh, family and study. The e-communities, uh, the business school uh, designed an uh, electronic e-learning platform a number of years ago to support the distance model. Um, so now we move away from, from distance, it's more flexible. You still get the full distance package, but it's quite flexible and quite innovative. And the e-communities is, is a platform where you can actually link in with the unit chairs, link in with students, uh, link in with the Chifley faculty, um, and you can talk and, um, and work your way through the program as a, as a bit of a group or as a, as a network. And that's a very useful one, and um, Jane will probably talk to that as well as Steve about how that works. Uh, but basically you can be anywhere in the world and you can link and you can talk to the lecturers, other students. It's an asynchronous format, so it's not live chat, but it's just like an email format. And you can actually see the way that people um, are communicating to one another. The good thing about it is you'll find that if you have a question such as a finance unit and you're struggling with a particular issue, you'll probably look through the e-communities, you'll find the answer pretty quickly that someone else has had that problem. So you can actually either respond to it or engage in it or we can actually just take that person's uh, feedback. The program structure, uh, Chifley offers a number of uh, uh, programs in the, in, the, in the grad cert. So the grad certs that we offer, we offer a grad cert in management, uh, we offer a grad cert 
in business strategy, grad cert in project management, grad cert in strategic leadership, and a grad cert in strategic of sustainability and management. So out of those four grad certs there, you can, or it might be five grad certs, then you can move into um, the diploma and then the masters. Well, most people will still enrol in the MBA up front as the, as the core thing, as the core program they go after. But what you can do, you know, one of the unique things about the business school designing these grad certs is that you may decide to do a grad cert in project management and then after that you might graduate and then you'll take those four units and then you'll just continue on into the MBA and do your masters. In the past, uh, or, and a number of schools are offering this now, where you'll do a grad cert in management and if you graduate, then you basically rip up the test aimer if you go into a grad dip or a master's, obviously, because it's, it's a lesser degree. But now you can actually do a grad cert in project management, a grad cert in, uh, in business strategy or something like that, and that becomes a standalone qualification on its own, but then it rolls over into the MBA. And we can talk about that in question and answer time. So you can pick up another qualification along the way. Um, and then moving on to the grad dip and then in the master's. So as we said, the master's, there's six core and six electives. The technology management and the, and the master project management have the same structure in terms of its six core, six electives. The major difference between the MBA and the MBA in technology management uh, is through the MBA you have to do economic decision making in business law. And then through the MBA in technology management you'll do um, project management and information systems. So it's more technology focused. So it's a subtle change, uh, so it's not a major change. Um, but I would recommend that if you do the MBA in technology management, go back and do business law or something like that as well. It's a very good unit to do. Because you'll find that you'll, it's all around industrial relations and employment and those type of things. And as uh, business leaders, you'll be going through that with a bit in your career. Important to touch on Unit 301, which is a research subject. You can actually take away and do a research uh, subject. You can go back in the workplace. So if you're implementing a new system or you're doing some work, a, a large project, you can actually take that particular uh, a unit and you can go away and do that for 20 weeks and that becomes one of the units. And also the employee based unit, um, Chifley will, you can also go and do uh, three short courses through Chifley Business School. We have obviously short course, uh, executive short courses, you can do those three short courses, do the assignments and that gives you one unit in the MBA as well. So the units per study period, most people um, do one to two units per study period. Um, in India the students generally do three to four but in Australia, it's generally one to two units per study period. Um, and we find that if you're doing any more than maybe two, two units full time, it's very um, obviously intensive on your life. It's, it's, it's almost going to a full time MBA program. Um, maximum time to complete the program grad cert is three years, grad dip six years, MBA is ten years. A uh, good thing to, uh, I suppose, to talk about here is the, is the assignment structure and the way we assess the program. The assessment is broken into two key components, an assignment and uh, exam. Your assignment is generally between 20 to 30 percent of your total mark, and that will be due in week 9 or week 10. And then um, on week, from week 18 to week 20 in the exam block, you'll do your exam, which is 70 percent. Important to note, the exam is obviously it's a three hour face to face exam. Um, they're held by Monash, Monash University, we partner with them for the exams. Um, the exams are not theory-based um, regurgitation. They're very active, they're very uh, engaging, so you'll have a case study, you'll have some short answers, but the short answers won't be what are the four steps of negotiation, it'll be, it'll be application. So an example would be if you're doing the business law unit, it might be that you've taken over a CEO of a company, you're in a position now where the, 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 your successor, who might have been in the role, in a temporary role, was there, that person's now um, disgruntled, frustrated. How do you go through the process? Do you want to keep the person? Do you want to move that person on? If you want to dismiss them, how do you go through the process? It's those type of things. Important to note that no matter where you are in the world, we'll set up an examination venue for you. Um, so if you are traveling to, to uh, you know, Eastern Europe and you're over there on holidays for four or, four or five weeks and you know your exam falls at that particular time, we'll set you up an exam center at one of the universities. Um, if we can't do that, then we'll find an invigilator who will do that for you. It's based over there, overseas. So there's no problems for you to actually doing use ham and travel. Uh, Chifley uh, this year implemented a study tool, and we have a China study tour that's also part of the program, it's one unit. You can go away and you can do a two week study tour, and that will come on, I think it's about November again this year, um, where you can do that program. You visit, you go from basically from Shanghai across to Beijing, um, all taken care of, and you go and visit large organisations, and then you go away and you do a group project. It is the only unit in the MBA program where you'll have to do a group 
a solved or a group project. And that's coming back to one of the important parts of flexibility, that this program is the assignments are your assignments. You can do group assignment work, but what you submit is your own, so you're not relying on anybody else uh, to be there to make sure they do a component of their assignment. You haven't got to rely on people. Uh, one other thing we're looking at doing is we're partnering with other universities around the world where you can, where you can go now, uh, just keep look on the website and see which universities are coming up, where you can actually do units overseas face to face and you can convert them back into our program. So while the program is still flexible, we're, in, we're, we're expanding our international market and our um, international attractiveness. As I said before, our program is uh, designed for, it's an 18 week study period with a two week exam. I always tap on the word two week exam because your exam might be the first day or it could be the last day of the two weeks. It just depends. Um, so that gives you a lot more flexibility and time to actually work on your career and your family as well as your, your studies. You're allowed to do a summer fast track semester. Once you've done one full unit, you can then do a summer semester. Summer semester is a 10 week fast track. Most people do units that they feel quite comfortable with in those 10 weeks. Um, so if you work in professional services, you do professional services, managing professional service firms um, as one of the units. If you're a, an accountant, you then you might do your, uh, you do your financial module. If you're a marketer, you do your marketing unit. But a lot of people find once they start in the groove of the MBA, they know exactly how much workload they should be putting in. It's roughly about seven to eight hours of study per week. And that's on average across the, the 20 weeks or the 18 weeks. You'll find that most people will do open their books at the start, they'll read things for a couple of weeks, they'll park them for three or four weeks, they'll come back, they'll start preparing for their assignment, um, and then after they've submitted their assignment, they might shut the books for another couple of weeks, have a bit of a relaxation period, and then come back in and start preparing, read the final units to study, preparing for the exam. So it gives you that flexibility. It's not on, on the whole time. You actually got a bit of downtime um, throughout the period. Uh, credit application typically will take up to 50% of other postgraduate studies um, in associated fields, so we can map that across for you. That's no different to any other university. And the same thing is from this program here, it transfers into other universities, other MBA programs. So you can do up to 50% of our MBA program, and if you choose that you want to go finish off at UQ, Monash, University of New South Wales, whatever suits you. Each case for application is reviewed by the academic dean, and they will work with you and look at your case and have a chat with you about that. Um, we've touched on the employee base unit, um, where you can do that as long as it must consist of 160 hours, which is linked to how many hours you should be doing for the MBA for the full time unit. So, this is a special entry requirement. So, basically, what happens there is we look for a simple criteria, mature age, the ability to demonstrate um, appropriate education experience in the workplace. Um, I suppose the key one there is also employee support. Um, we like to ask that if you can get your employee to approve um, the program, not asking you, the employer to fund the program, but to actually endorse you as a, as a solid candidate for the MBA program. Uh, the fees for 2011, um, so if you are with a hard copy of the study guide is uh, 1595 or without is 1540 and for a PESMA members uh, 1330 and um, for without the, without the hard co copy is 1280. The hard copy guide there um, should be noted that study period 2 we're going to allow them to stay but as of study period 3 and then moving to study period 1 next year uh, we'll be phasing out hard copy course materials. It's all about sustainability and being flexible, being creative, so we've, we've got to live and breathe what we're, what, we're taught, what we're teaching in the program. So we're going to start shifting it away. You'll still get a memory stick, you'll get a disc, um, and you'll also get access to all the units online. So that'll be one of the changes. Uh, so basically for me, that's the last thing I had to say. Um, any information or any, anything you need to know, just email um, the MBA info at Chifley uh, or go on the website.